how to make a video lecture. With video lectures, your students can learn at their own pace from anywhere in the world. Creating a video lecture is a simple yet effective teaching tool. So in this video, I'm gonna give you lecture plan tips. I'm gonna teach you how to record yourself and your lecture plan at the same time. I'm gonna show you how to edit that into an engaging lecture video. And lastly, I'm gonna show you how to share it with your students and give them direct access to ask you questions about the lecture. We got a lot to cover, let's get started. Here's how to make a lecture video. Here are some tips when it comes to creating your lecture plan slides. You're going to want to use visual aids. These will stimulate and focus your students' attention. Avoid writing down everything that you say on your slides. You want to reveal your information gradually rather than all at once. Make your slides visually appealing with graphics, colors, fonts and images. Now we have our slides, we can record our video and for this we'll be using Veed. So just click the first link in the description to get started. Now, firstly, just hit record, then you can choose your layout. So for this, I'm going to choose slides and camera so that I can give my lecture alongside my slides. Next, upload your slides. So you can choose to upload a PDF or if you've used Google Slides, choose that option. And then once they're loaded, you can just click on settings here to choose your preferred camera and mic option. Now we can style and customize our video lecture by clicking on themes. And now we have a couple of different options here. So just click on them to test them out. And if you don't like the colors or the patterns, we can simply change them by clicking on background. You can then choose an ombre color, or if you don't like that, you can click on the search bar and type in any word and it's gonna show you a couple of potential photos. Another option is the color tab, click on it and then you can choose a block color, or if you have your own branding, you can click on the upload tab and import that. The choice is yours. So just take your time here until you're happy with how it looks. The next tool we can use to our advantage is the teleprompter. You can actually paste a script in here or you can even type out bullet points of what you wanna cover in this lecture. And the beauty of it is when we record it and then we watch it back, you won't actually see the teleprompter on screen. Now, once you've entered that text, you can adjust the settings here by changing the speed at which it appears on screen. You can change the color of the text, the size of the text, and you can even make the background light or dark. Then just drag that over to a corner of the screen so that you can see which slide you're on. Now we're ready to record the lecture. We're gonna go ahead and hit record. We'll have three second countdown and then the recording's going to begin. You can go ahead and say your intro and then hit the play button on the teleprompter. You can also use the arrows here to move over to the next slide. And then once you've finished, hit stop. You'll then be taken to this page where you'll have one last chance to change the background and theme and then click add to project. And in here, we can edit our lecture. First thing we're going to do is trim it so we're going to remove any of the oohs, ahs and ems. So just play the video, then you're going to pause it at the start of the mistake and then we'll click on the first layer and click split. Then click the next layer and click split and you're just going to do this for all remaining layers. Right now we're going to play it and we're going to pause at the end of the mistake this time. Now we're going to highlight each layer and click split just as we did before and then once you're finished doing that you can then right click on the portion that you want to remove and hit delete. And you're just gonna repeat that for all remaining layers. And then once you've done that, you can then hover your mouse over the gap in between the clips, and you're just gonna click on that bin to remove the gap. Now, previously I mentioned adding visuals for references so that your students can stay engaged. Now, if you've forgotten to do that during the slides, it's no problem, you can add it in now. So to do that, you're just gonna click add media above the timeline, click upload a file, and you can upload the image or the footage. And then once it's loaded, it's gonna appear now at the end of the timeline. So we're gonna drag and drop that in the place that we want it to appear during our lecture and you can trim it by pushing in the sides on the clip. Now, let's say you wanna use stock footage for a visual element, you can do that too. All you have to do is click add media above the timeline and then next to stock footage, you're gonna click search and just type in whatever it is that you're looking for. And then all you have to do is select the one that you like best. Now, again, it's going to be at the end of the timeline, so drag and drop it to where you want it to appear. Now, lastly, we're gonna add automatic subtitles so that our students can follow along with the lecture. Click subtitles in the left toolbar, click auto subtitle, choose your language, and then Veed's gonna do all the hard work for you now. It's going to automatically transcribe all of that audio. And once it's done, you're gonna see your subtitles above your video in the timeline and to the left of your video. You're gonna watch it through all the way now just to check for anywhere where it might've misheard or misinterpreted any of the words that you've said. And if that has happened, very simple fix. All you're gonna do is click on the word that's wrong, delete it, and type out the correct word. Perfect. Now all our mistakes have been corrected, we can click on the Styles tab. And then in here, you can choose from any of these pre-made animated templates, or we can customize our own by choosing our own font, size, 
text color, effect color, we can add an animation, go back and then we can add an effect. Now let's export our video lecture. So you're just gonna click export in the top right hand corner, choose your render settings, make sure burn subtitles is marked as on and then click export video. Now you're gonna give that a moment here to do its magic, it's gonna render. Once it's finished, watch it all the way through just to make sure you're happy with it. And if you're happy with it, you can go ahead and you can click download and download MP4. Now you can also send the video link directly to your students here by typing in their email or you can copy the link and share it that way. Another feature of Veed that's gonna be really helpful for your students is the ability to ask you questions online and give you a timestamp so you can see what they're referring to. So once you share this link with them, they can write it in the chat tab, they can fill in the timestamp, and then once you click on it, it's going to take you to that part of the video so you can see what they're referencing. Also, if you have a business account, you can even add a description and links to your video. All you have to do is click on the call to action button and fill in the details. Very helpful. And that's it. That's how to create a video lecture. I really hope you found this video helpful, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.